Hi everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women, and this is my next question and answer segment where I took your questions from Facebook and I'm going to answer them for you today. The first question I have is Hi Nicole, although it is rare occasion that I'm found in anything other than business clothes or gym clothes, I do every now and then need to throw on a pair of jeans. As a girl with somewhat developed glutes and quads, nose, finding jeans that fit well is like finding a needle in a huge retail haystack. Do you have a specific brand of jeans that is your go-to? Thanks for doing these question and answers. I love them each week. Yeah, I have the same issue for girls that have more muscular legs. It's always difficult to find a pair of jeans that is comfortable in the legs and not too big in the waist. So I, you know, I like to get any jean that has a stretch to it. Express makes good jeans. Silver. Uh, I would go to a store called The Buckle if it, there's one nearby where you live. Uh, they usually will, they, their staff is very good at picking a pair of jeans that fits your legs and your waist as well as length um, for those tall girls. But also, if you find a pair of jeans that fits you really good in your legs, I will often go to the tailor and get the waist taken in so that it fits more comfortably. Uh, or you can just wear leggings all the time. You can always dress up leggings with sweaters and a boot. <laughs> will you ever do a fat camp in the South? Greenville, South Carolina, or Atlanta would be awesome. I promise to pack out the camp with attendees if you come. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, we are open. <clears throat> Let me start off by saying that Fat Camp is a new business venture for me. I got approached by Jennifer Hendershot, who is two time fitness Olympia and two time fitness international champion, about a year and a half ago, asking me if I'd be interested in taking over her Fat Camp. And Fat Camp is a fitness weekend. It's not just for competitors. In fact, we don't promote it like that. We want the everyday woman to come and it's very motivational surrounding yourself with other women who have the same interests. We talk about nutrition, we, we train every muscle group, we do cardio together. Um, it's a really, really fun, energetic weekend. And throughout 2014, Jennifer and I are going to be traveling all over the world. We're going to go to um, Gold Coast and Perth, Australia. We're going to be in Fort Myers, Florida. We have Vancouver, Edmonton. We just got back from Calgary. We're going to be in Texas. We're going to be in uh, Las Vegas. So we're going to be in Columbus, Ohio. So we're making our rounds around. Um, because of our limited schedule, we don't have any room for additional dates this year. However, if you are interested in promoting a fat camp with us in 2015, I will be taking over the fat camp, but Jen will still be in the back end, so she'll be taking care of all the travel arrangements and you know booking the gyms and getting all that uh, together. So if you have an area where you are, where you want a fat camp to come to you, please, please email me at Nicole at NicoleWilkins.com or visit GetFatWithNicole.com and it's P-H-A-T for all the dates and all the information. And we hope to see you guys uh, at one of them in the future. The next question is, how do you deal with injuries and setbacks from your injuries? I am so frustrated. Well, I am so frustrated right now too. So I'm kind of going through the same thing uh, as far as injuries. You know, I, I have had many injuries in my past and right now I'm dealing with a left shoulder injury. Um, so, it's been recurring from October and honestly the best thing you can do is listen to your body. If there is, um, I don't know what your injury is, but you know, make sure that you're taking the precautionary steps to get it better as fast as you can. Um, if, you, if that requires physical therapy, if that requires seeing a specialist, um, you know, I've been getting laser treatment and I've been going to uh, the physical therapist and I've been doing specific exercises and I've you know, been having to rest and basically work all the muscles that don't hurt in the meantime. So it's not like I'm taking a break from the gym. My legs are still working fine, so I've been doing a lot more legs. I can still train my arms for the most part, so I've been doing that. I can still train my abs, so I've been doing that. So you can, you know, I still do cardio and I still watch my diet. So just because one specific part of your body may be injured, you know, still try to stick with as much of a routine as possible. 
Um, in fact, if you work out, it can increase the blood flow to the injured area and help it possibly get better faster. So just keep your chin up and know that injuries are going to happen throughout your life at some point or another, and they're not going to last forever if you take the right steps now to prevent it from getting worse. So hang in there. It'll get better soon. And the last question I have is, have you ever had to deal with huge muscle knots in your hip or lower back area from running or other training? I get them in my left side only, and it's very painful. I've been told it's my shoes. Any other ideas or suggestions? Preventative measures? Question mark. I've, um, back in 2005, I had a herniated disc in my lower back. <laughs> Man, I sound like I'm full of injuries, but uh, I had it... Um, or, I mean, it really bothered me for a good six months. And I did, I went to the chiropractor, I got massage therapy, I would stretch it regularly, I um, would get active release therapy. So taking those uh, preventative measures, um, stretching on a regular basis, going to yoga, not running every single day because that repetitive pounding is going to only make things worse. So maybe try doing more cross training, do the step mill one day or the elliptical one day instead of running, and that'll kind of ease up on the shock that your body has to go through when you are running. Um, so hopefully those will help you out. But the shoe thing is definitely a huge one. Make sure that you invest in good quality running shoes and replace them every six months or if every three to 400 miles, whichever comes first. And that will help with um, not only your hip and your lower back, but also your knees and um, make running less painful. So those are my questions for this week. Until next week, keep asking your questions on the Fitness Rx for Women Facebook page, and I'll be back every Friday to answer them for you. Until then, keep living the fit life.